Okay, welcome back to part two. And now we're showing you the saliva indicator having triggered. You'll see that when sufficient saliva has been absorbed by this uh, membrane, above the white section here, the top section will go a bright red colour. You can see that still tracking up and indicating that sufficient saliva has been absorbed. The test takes the guidance is between three and nine minutes to absorb sufficient saliva. In practice we found this is usually less than that, it's between one and a half and two minutes before the indicator goes. There is quite a bitter taste to the actual swab during that collection period which some uh, testers may find uh, unpalatable. However, it's completely uh, benign, the chemical element of this is a food quality sponge. There is no chemicals that should cause any allergic reaction or other problems while the sample is being collected. So now we've got a clear red indicator at the top of this uh, collector. So to run the test, the procedure is very simple. It's placed into the barrel, pushed down and screwed down until it locks. Now in screwing it down and locking it, you should discharge the saliva into the base of the test. You may be able to see just through there. The test should then be placed in a vertical position and left to run. Once you assemble the test and discharge the sponge, start your timer and you're looking to read the results between 5 and 10 minutes. What you will see within a couple of minutes is the pink dye starting to run and I might be able to just show you this on here. You can see it's starting to run up these membranes on that side and again on the reverse test should be left in the vertical position while that is running and then we'll come back and show you the results showing at five minutes.